Hello and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to be having a go at a puzzle that is no Sudoku today. Um, this is a Philomeno puzzle with a numbered rooms constraint. Uh, it's called Fully Booked and it's by MicroStudy. And this has been recommended to us a lot. We don't we don't do as many pencil puzzles on the on the channel as I'd like to really. Um, but this has been recommended a lot and we're going to have a go at it. The testers had a look at it and said it's brilliant. Apparently it's quite tricky. Uh, I had a snip of the comments on Logic Masters Germany and there's some very, very good names who solved this and all of the, um, uh, all of them basically eulogizing about it. I was just, I was just fixating there on Playmaker's comment. I found it a lot harder than three out of five. I, I don't think it is three out of five. I thought it was four out of five on Logic Masters. Um, but there's some, some great names here, isn't there? Jesper, Magnus Josephson, uh, Jesper's brother, uh, Playmaker, Wisty, Glum Hippo, Niverio, Crusader 175, KNT, Math Pesto, Kristen A, Pietato, good grief. So, the, you know, some of the very best solvers literally on, on planet Earth have enjoyed this puzzle very much. Uh, and I don't have much news for you today. Just an appeal, as always, if you do enjoy the channel, do consider subscribing. It's totally free to subscribe to a, uh, a YouTube channel. Uh, you just click the subscribe button and it teaches that thing, the YouTube algorithm, that people like to solve puzzles. And we think that that's a good thing. Um, and of course, over on Patreon, we have our, our Patreon. Uh, well, we're, well, we have our Patreon pages where there's loads of bonus content every month. Um, anyway, that said and done, let's have a look at the rules of Fully Booked and see what micro study has in store for us. We have the entire grid is comprised of an inner nine by nine grid and the areas of non-black cells where outside clues are to be placed by the solver. Right, I see now. Okay, so I hadn't actually appreciated that, but now I now I now I look at the grid carefully, I can see there is um there is a line. Um you can sort of see there's a border line, isn't there? In an internal border line. So that's a nine by nine, apparently, is it? That does seem to be true. Um we have to divide the entire grid into regions of orthogonally connected cells such that no two regions of the same size share an edge and enter a number into each cell equal to the size of its region. Um, so this is classic Philomeno. So what that means is if, if that was a size six region and you put six into each of the cells because it has six cells in it, then this little region here couldn't come along and touch that region because there would then be two regions of the same size orthogonally connected. Orthogonally connected means across an edge. So these two cells are not orthogonally connected because they only touch one another at a point. Uh, but now, now they are. Now these three cells are orthogonally connected. Well, these two are, and these two are, and therefore they form an orthogonally connected group because you can trace from any cell in the group to another cell along cells that uh, uh, that share an edge with one another. Um, so, okay, so let's, let's carry on reading the rules. Enter a number into each cell equal to the size of its region. Regions can contain cells from both the inner nine by nine and the outside area. Right, okay, so what is the point of the inner area? Maybe that's about to be revealed. Numbered rooms, numbers outside the nine by nine grid are valid numbered rooms clues i.e. a clue indicates the number that appears in the, the nth cell, I almost said ninth cell, uh, a clue indicates the number that appears in the nth cell of the clue's direction inside the 9 by 9 grid, where n is the digit next to the clue in that direction. Oh, good grief. So let's look at this clue then, because that has got a, a clue above it. So we're saying if that's an 8, for example, Is that saying that that's an eight? <laughs> Hang on, let me read that again. The numbers outside the grid. A clue indicates the number that appears in the nth cell. Yes, yeah, so the number that appears in the fourth cell in that clue's direction. So I, yeah, I think you sort of, you read the clue as applying from, so this clue applies vertically. A clue here, let's, let's do a clue here, or let's do this so we don't interfere with this. If this was a five and this was a five, that would be saying, 
no let's do not do the same digit let's do a different digit if this is a seven and this is a five that's saying from this direction count five down one two three four five and plonk a seven in there i think is how that works um if that's not how it works i'm about to get the puzzle completely wrong do have a go the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now i get to play let's get cracking um so okay so there's a f oh right i see so all that's saying literally is that there is a four somewhere in in the nine by nine it must be mustn't it because i think this this numbered rooms clue will only apply it can only transport digits into the nine by nine that's how i understood that part of the rules anyway yeah inside the nine by nine grid so we can't transport that four to this square by just having an enormous number in here um ah, gosh i've got no idea how to how to start this do we start with these numbers that are close together um we have two fours outside the grid but all so all that's saying is there's a four in this row and there's a four in this row this three is saying there's a three in this row And then in terms of the actual clue digits, so this is these these cells are transporting the digits that appear outside the grid into the into particular ah, into particular places. So that too is transporting a digit here. So maybe that's the point. Can't you, okay, you can't put a two there. Because if, I think if that's a two, isn't that saying that's a two as well by transportation? And you'd have three twos in a row and that region is not of size two then. So that's not a two. But I think. Presumably it can be almost anything else. So those two digits are the same. Let's let's record that those two are the same. But not, they are not two. And are we just dealing with digits today, or can we have enormous regions? Mm, I think we might be able to have enormous regions, because if you read the clue, read the instructions carefully, it says enter a number into each cell. It doesn't say a digit into each cell. So I, I wonder if we're going to have an enormous region in the puzzle. Um okay let's right now what's this clue saying that's saying that that digit is the same as the third cell because that digit's going to get transported there so those two digits are the same <sighs> i wish i understood what that meant. that three is getting transported somewhere in the row oh so if that was a two that would be saying that's a three and that's a three no, but that's okay, isn't it? We just have threes in four positions then. This, okay, ah, right. Here, here is the most trivial point ever. This two has to grow. And in, in growing, it's either going to go north or south because it can't go into either of those squares because the implication of it going uh, either westwards or eastwards is the same thing. If it goes right, then this digit needs to be a two because that is where this two transports it. And if it goes left, then this digit becomes a two as a result of this these two twos, and that breaks as well. So sorry, that, that is an obvious point that I didn't appreciate, but this is either going up there or down there. And if it goes down there, we've already worked out that results in a lot of things. So is there a re... Oh, ah, no, it's obvious. Oh, I've got it now. Oh, that's really clever. It's really clever and really obvious. It's exactly the same problem that I was having with the green cells. If I move the two here, if I move the two here, look how they operate together. This one gets transported here by this clue because we're saying that this digit gets transported by the two, two down in the column, which would be to there. So you get a two here. Ah, well, you get a two like that. And that would be three twos in a row. So sorry, that's really that's that's actually very easy once once you suddenly see it. So that that is a region. We've got our first region. Now we have to award it a colour. Let us make it 
how are we feeling today? What's the weather's horrible? Right, we'll make it grey. So two two is going to be grey. Um, now this is great because now this is what we were thinking about with the three. The three now gets transported there, which gets transported here. So threes are going to be blue. Um, ah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, isn't it? Because this can't be three now. I've under, I have got that right, haven't I? That these are both the same. Yeah, that's. I think that's right. That does seem that seems logical. So that becomes blue. This is definitely not uh, blue now, because if the, if this was a three, ah, so that one we can draw that bar, lot, line in as well. Because if it was a three, the threes would be a line of four, and that can't work. So now we we worked out this wasn't a two. We've now worked out it's not a three. So it might be a very. Or it can't be a very big digit, because there's not enough space for it to go. Oh, right, that's it, that's it. Right, so that we have to think about how big this, this digit can be. And the point is, it could be a one, because it can't be two or three. But if it is a one, what on earth do you put into that slug of three white cells? Nothing is the answer, because you can't put two in, because this will be a two, however you configure it. You can't put three in, because that will touch the threes here. And that will be a bad thing. Um, oh, no, that, that, that is right, isn't it? I'm just double checking. There is no configuration here that can work. Uh, no, there really isn't. There's nothing you can do. This square, the, I suppose the way to consider it sort of very properly is to say, what's this square? This can't be a one. It can't be a two and it can't be a three. Yeah, that's that's how to do it. Absolutely. And nail it down. So this has to be a four. Those all become fours. Four is therefore a green color. This four has to escape. And we are off and running, aren't we? So we can do that. Um, three, that three is blue and it must come out. So we can do that. Let's put that in, blueify it. And I haven't worked, thought through yet what all these mean, because these fours have the same identical effect, don't they? They transport four to the fourth position, which is one is there uh, and one, one two, is, it, is it to there? I think it is. Two, three. I think it's those two squares have to be fours. And that's far more interesting on the bottom side, because now this three has to complete along uh, along column one, or is that column zero? I'm not sure. So we can do that. Um, this three needs to, oh, that four. Okay, well, maybe we need to find a way also of keeping track of which clues we've done outside the grid. I wonder if there's a way of using the pen tool, maybe. So maybe we'll circle them if we've done them, do you think? That's done, that's done. That's done. That's oh, that's this has been worthwhile. That's not done. Uh, that three gets transported four, so it goes to there. So that's a three, which is blue. Now it's done, so we can ring it. This one is not done, and that means there is a three somewhere in this row, probably near this three, but I don't know that. Right, and is this done? That is done. This is done. Okay, and one of these I can see has to be a three. Right, okay, here is a minor point, but I'll make it. Um, I think this three has to go to this square, because if it didn't, I think it's gonna bump into this three. So what I'm saying is if it doesn't go to that square and it has to go here, where is its third cell? And it's either gonna be that one or that one, and that's going to cause the, the three region to be of size four, which can't be right, can it? So we can, we can remove that, that's got to be a three. We can therefore make this blue. Therefore, it's not attaching to this, so we can draw, oh, we've gotta go back to a black pen. That's got to be a, a, re, a, a, a delineation. The four now, look, has to come down so that's ah that's going to do things because now we can do this clue. So once ah so it does go there. That's where we thought it was going. That's where I thought it was going to go. That becomes green, and that clue gets finished. So I'm definitely going to tick that off. We have used all the clues now. 
that we, we, we've, we've so far learnt about. Oh dear, but now we might be getting stuck. This four has to carry on growing. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to label all the fours in the grid green. That's a sensible thing. Now we've got to just uh, let's make sixes purple. That feels like it's going to be a beautiful configuration of chromatic nonsense. Now, what next? <laughs> Pregnant pause while I try and figure out something. Um... So far, I've got nothing. Absolutely diddly squat. What on earth am I meant to do now? The six has to be transported up here. This four, oh, I see, but that could be a one, two, three, four, five. That could be a six. Oh, it was going quite well, wasn't it, for a moment? But now, I, I mean, where, where am I meant to look now? Is it the extension of this three? Is that somehow, if it was there, what would that do? That would be putting a digit here that was that digit. Doesn't feel under any pressure at all. Is this four somehow restricted? Is there a reason it can't go there? Don't think so. Or is it, am I meant to think about this digit, which I know is not equal to three? Oh, hang on, I've made a mistake. I oh, know I haven't. No, I was suddenly, I was thinking that this got, got, this was meant to get transported three. But no, it is transported four. So I haven't made a mistake. I just don't know what this is. Hmm. Wow, um, I mean, where on earth am I meant to look here? Or is there a way we, we know how this grows somehow? If it grows there, why is that even remotely a problem? <laughs> um, I don't know, I really don't. If it doesn't grow there and it grows there, that would, ah, uh, does that force this into this somehow? Don't, ah, that might be it. Yeah, ah, that could be huge actually. Right, sorry, I didn't notice this, but if that's a three, if that's the extension of this, no, it, it can get out. It can, unless there's a, unless there's a problem I haven't appreciated. If that becomes green, Obviously, this is penned in now. That has to be a one. And that gets transported here. This would have to go there. This four would have to go here because it can't bump into this four. So this would be a four. This would be a three. This would be a something that we don't know. I don't think that's a problem, is it? I'm, I'm, I might be missing a trick, but I, I don't understand what the issue is there. Golly, um, is there a reason that this four has to connect to this four? It might be. <laughs> I don't know what that reason. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, hang on. Of course. Right. So this square is actually is actually pointing at that square, isn't it? Oh, that's very clever micro study. It's so obvious once you see it again. So that's a three and I can see that's going to do work because that's now. Oh, right. Yeah. So how does this grow? It's got to grow to there in order to not touch another three. And that's going, look what that's done. That is going to do something rather lovely, which is to put a one into this square. Now, one is something we haven't colored. We'll make ones orange. <laughs> Uh, because it can't be a three, obviously. So it has to sit as a single cell region and then it gets transported one to, to here. And that's also going to be wonderful because that is going to block off my three. That's forced the shape of my four. So this, this gets filled in. Dum, 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 dum. The three has to come to there. Now has that, let's, let's just check. What have we actually managed to do here? That one's done. 
that three is done now. Okay, so that's good. So right, so the lesson to be learned here is we have to keep more careful track of anything on the edges. So if, for example, I ever earn this digit without having this digit, then I'll know that whatever this digit is gets transported there. So I'm going to try and remember that. So that's three, that's blue. But that three is getting transported down the column. This one is finished. This three is not finished, but now can be finished. That pushes the four over. And this is the this is the configuration we were looking at before, where this also has to be a one now, doesn't it? If it's a four, we've got a problem, and it's obviously only got one spell. It's one spell of space, one cell of space. Oh, now I need to go back to my black digits again. Uh, so that four can't go there, so the four is going to in inhabit this little pocket and be a little tetromino an l tetromino that three is finished uh right that's forced this so this is something it could be a two um that one oh, that one isn't done one gets transported to here so this is a one that's orange and it can be completely surrounded so this is now big long chain of stuff that four this four can't go to this square because it would touch another four region so again we get another digit in the grid so these are both transporting these digits to these two spaces that oh, that digit could be th uh, no that digit could be three um, this digit is being transported. Okay, we don't know what this is, do we? Uh, can't be a. What's oh, something? Uh, is that right? Yeah, okay, that's an interesting thought I had never had. Right, one. You can't put, ever put a one on the edge. Or you might be able to put one. No, you can't put it there because it, it sees that clue. The reason you can't put a one on the edge is it's sort of indexing itself. So the result of putting a one there would be that you have to put a one there because that's where this is, this digit is indexing into itself. And then you'd have two ones touching one another. So you can never put one in the perimeter or in, in a perimeter in a, you, you might be able to put one there because this isn't a clue. Um, right, but now I tell you what we should do. We should tick that one off. Okay, and we haven't done these two. We've got a big long R. Ah, does that mean that this is somehow restricted in terms of what? So that digit, we know it appears in this column. So if it was a six, no, that's, that's just absolute nonsense. That digit is not a one or a three. So that's at least a two. yeah okay so what that means is let's go to a different color so these two are definitely joined together for certain now if this if this is not a two what is it it's not then not a three and it's not a four because if it's four it's going to touch this one on the way out so this digit would be at least a five but one interesting thing i'm noticing there is that if this is if this is a five, obviously there, there's a big long string of digits coming out of the cul-de-sac. But if it is a two, this digit uh, would be, uh, can't be a one and can't be a two. So it'd be at least a three. And that's going to force these two to be connected. So I think those two there, these two are definitely connected. And they may be connected to the domino above, depending on whether this square is a two. Now, does that do anything at all? The answer is I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, OK, here is a tiny point that I'm going to make, which is that there is a six here. That six must appear in this column somewhere. 
and it's going to be transported into the column by this digit, which we now know is not a 1 by the logic we just did. So that digit is 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. 2, 3, or 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if it was 7, this would be a 6, and it would have to come out. Okay, so one, one consequence of that, I suppose, is that, that we can draw that boundary in. Because somehow this isn't able to be a 6. So this is in a different region to the cell below it. So that 6, if it goes there, this digit would be 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So these could be in the same region. They could be double 6. And then this would all be 6, but then couldn't touch this, so that would be something else. Or, or this 6 could simply turn right, and then Bob's your uncle, look, they've got an awful lot of free space in column whatever that is. <laughs> um, okay, I don't really know where to look now. Um, ah, here is a small point. I think that might have to be a 4. And the way I just did that was I imagined it wasn't a 4. And I imagined if it wasn't a 4, what would this shape look like? And I thought it would have to go there and make this a 4. And I didn't think that could be right. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, because this could be a massive digit. Oh, bother. I think that's fine, actually. I was thinking that this would then have to be a 4, but that's just total and utter nonsense, isn't it? No, that is right, that is right. Yeah, that is right, because that is the count of where this cell ends up. So that would have to be a 4, and we get five fours in a row. So my brain was right. So that, that's great. Well, maybe not great, but it does mean that's a 4. Um, it means that is definitely, definitively not well, it's never been able to be 4. What are you talking about, you silly man? So this digit... Ah, but this digit... Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. That being a 4 means I can do this clue. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4. That's become a 4. So that's a green clue. Okay, this is getting more interesting now. It's in terms of... You know, these clues are going somewhere. Now... Now, this isn't a 2 anymore. So this is 3 or 7. Which do I want it to be? I probably want it to be 7. So what is this digit then? It, it can't be 1. Oh no, it could be 1 if that's a 3. No, this one can't be 1. Can that one be 4? If this can't be... F if this is 4, then this is 4 as well. That's what we learned before. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, this is not 4. So that's quite interesting as well. We can draw that in. Right. So we somehow we have to... I think... I'm sure we have to think about this domino. Um, because this cannot be a number that transports to a 4. Oh, is that right, actually? No, maybe that's wrong now, because that could be a 4. Oh, bother. Oh, botheration. I think that's right. I think that's okay, isn't it? But this... This is not a 4. Can't, it can't be a 2. And if it was a 4... This would be a 4, so that... Okay, what's this digit? Ah, this... Okay, this is a much more interesting digit. What's this digit? We know it can't be a 1, because it would index to itself. If it's a 2, it's plonking a 4 here, which is touching another 4 region, so it's not that. It can't go there, because that's going to transport a 4 here, using our red domino thing. So it's a... It can't be a 4, so it's at least a 5, that, that cell. At least a 5. So it's a massive number. So these two are connected now. 
Oh, I know. So, okay. So, somehow this is going to connect to this, I think. Um, it's at least a five. So, let's actually put some other digits in there. So, we, 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 we just put loads of big digits in there. So, we, we don't get confused about my five notation. Now, so what's this digit then? So, this digit is either is either a four which is very likely to be a four because most of the digits that, that can be indexed to in in the in the grid up here are fours <laughs> like five of them are fours it could be a two couldn't it? it could be a two so it's two four or that digit which is a massive digit oh hang on so the five six seven eight nine digit it's two four or five six seven eight nine that digit um, mm, okay so if this is two this digit is one two three four five six seven or eight so it's seven or eight that's a big number in that cell if this is four this could be as low as two then. It could be two, four, five. It couldn't be four. Two, five or six or nine. And if this is a massive number, it has to be a three here. Is Oh, here's another thought. Is it possible to conclude these are different then? That's surely possible. Yeah. Ah. Ah. All right. Let's 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 approach this differently. So can these be the same number? This domino here. Let's just make it red for a moment. Is that possible to make these the same number? Now, if this is two, we know that's a seven or eight above it. So that's not going to work. If this is four, you can't put four here. Although it would index correctly, we'd have too many fours in a row. So that's not going to work. These can't be the same. And if this is five, six, if this is this digit, that has to be a three, which is not that digit. So. So. What that is telling us is that we can draw that boundary. Oh, we can draw that boundary in. And this has to get out because this can't be a one. Yeah, that feels right. We can't put one in this column anywhere. So that feels right. Hmm. So I'm starting to quite like the look of this being a three actually, because then that could be a three and they would index to the same thing. So they'd index to this big number, which is probably going to be a six. So yes, I think it's going to go six, 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 six. And then that's going to be a six region like that. That's my guess. But that's that's certainly not, you know, that's that's just intuition. That is not logical. Um, right. So how do we do this then? Uh, I don't know. I think this digit might be interesting because that's transporting this cell as well, isn't it? Somewhere in this row. So this does double duty. So if this is a three, it's transporting this digit to this position, which is then transporting this digit to somewhere up here. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to think about this. It's quite difficult for this to be a two then, isn't it? Because if this is a two, because these have to be the same digit, now there needs to be a two in this column within the nine by nine grid, and the only space it could go would be there, and that won't work. Because to, to index the two to there, I have to put a two in here, and I'd have too many twos to get connected. Right, that's huge. If that's not two, which I don't think it is now, then what, what is this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and 
no that's weird that's not two but that might that might still be able to be two. Oh, that's really strange because if that's four and this is two then that could be a two. Oh no that oh hang on can you if you put two here no that doesn't work does it it's the same point it's the same point as we had up there and I'm just not learning it if you put two there you can't put two there or there that's it ah sorry I'm so slow right yeah so it's the same point if you put two here you end up with a two there or there and it breaks because you get a run of twos so that isn't just that just simply cannot be a two so if this is four this has to be at least five so the least this is is three which is and the only way it's three is if it's indexing to this um, which means these two are definitely in a region together so this is another region that we've got coming out and we know this one is at least a four so it's got to continue because it can't be part of the region above it this is getting seriously clever isn't it it really is now ah that's done no oh nearly this is interesting what i've noticed now is these two digits whatever they are are getting transported this by this the same into a horizontal pair so that it has to be possible yeah see something like that no because this is at least three as well oh hang on oh that's that would work there yeah so if this is four and this is oh but this can't be four. Oh, th right this that does it oh this is beautiful setting good grief so hopefully you're seeing what i'm seeing there which is basically these two numbers are the same and these two numbers are the same so what that's going to mean is that this pair should appear as a horizontal domino in this section of the grid because this is going to transport them the same distance so it could be this but they cut the, in fact if we look at horizontal dominoes that are possible containing the same digit this is a possibility and this is a possibility and this is a possibility but we know that this is at least a three so this one is out so it's either this one or this one but to be this one one two three four these have to both be fours and they can't both be fours they'd be touching fours so this these are both threes transporting this digit to here so this this and this are all the same let's make them yellow for the time being they may well end up being purple but we'll make them yellow um now so that three does that oh one, no it doesn't oh hang on that's not three now yeah that's interesting if that's three this is saying transport the three to there and we get a run of um we get a run of four threes in a row so that that is something else does that mean it's got to be the last four that we need i don't know it could be a one couldn't it no no <laughs> it's the last four because if this is a one then this is being transported the, the one here gets transported there the three completes and the four doesn't have four in it wow so that's got to be four and i hope that will work that now becomes a four that becomes a four look everything's getting really really penned in here let's just check this is we've not broken the puzzle with that logic we've just done we're going to get green there we get blue there let's fence it off this we know is at least a five so it's bumping into this domino definitely so these all become yellow we still don't know if they have to go that way this four is all green this oh this is at least a four but it can't be four can it because we know yeah we know we know that's not four because we know it's the same as yellow which is at least five so it's not bumping into this so it is becoming a six there we go so that's six these are all purple Let's get rid of the color turn that purple this is now six so that that all becomes purple and six now does that mean it goes up there it probably does but i won't assume that yet because we have to prove this can't be double two and the six pokes out this way now this four 
Oh, no, no, that's not how it works, is it? That six is getting transported four. One, two, three. Yeah, so that's fine. That's not doing it. That six. Ooh. Ah, you see, that, if that gets transported to there, that would be huge, wouldn't it? Because then we couldn't take this with the six. This would have to be twos. Ooh, don't know. Okay, so look, we can draw some things in. This has to get out. Um, so let's use red for that. This bottom thing has to get out. In fact, look, the bottom thing's done. It's, it's got to run straight along the bottom because this can't be six. So these are all sixes. That's purple. Now let's just double check that we've done all the clues that we're allowed to do. Four gets transported six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is a four, which is a green digit. And that earns this one the right of a circle. That is four. That's done. That four gets transported three. That's done. This six gets transported three. This six gets transported three. This six gets transported four. This six, we don't know. This six, ah, but that's going to be horizontal dominoed again. In the sense that, which makes sense with it being here, or here actually. Um, and that's got to get out. So we can keep going with that red, that red loop. Look, it's got to go to there next. So that's also three or seven. And that, that is pushing, ah, that, that's done it. So now this four, which needs a fourth, has to go there. That's got to be green. That's penned in my six, look. So we're going to learn everything we needed to know about how this works now. So that six has to go up there to get its digits. That's all purple. Um, this is now not able to be three. So this, this is all seven. Um, and that's putting a horizontal domino of sixage up there. Seven, we haven't given a color yet. We'll make it, uh, what color, yellow? Yeah, that's okay. Um, so this six is now earning itself a circle. This six earns itself a circle. This six is not. We have to put that one in. Um, one, two, three, four. That becomes a six. Uh, okay. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, that four has to be not go that way because it would touch this this cell here this this one and those two are delineated aren't they the boundary there looks slightly watery you know when you sort of you you've got a black color on a on, a, on an easel and you add a bit of water to it and it goes a bit watery it looks a bit watery that boundary um, okay I don't know what to do now we had a little flurry of activity then okay maybe that's the cell we need to focus on next because I'm noticing that that can't get transported here because then it would go to all three of those cells and it would it would touch these two and make a region of that had five threes in it. So this digit is either a two, which would transport this to here, or ah that I can see, right, I can see what this is doing. In the first thing it's doing is this is not a three, because the third cell is a six already. So that means that the way this three continues is to there. And that completes it, so we might as well delineate it. Now. Okay. So if this is 2, that could also be 2. Well, in fact, that would be forced to be 2, because there would be a 3 here that would have to get out. So one possibility is that this is a 2 domino, and this is a 3 domino. That's the first possibility. If it's not that, then... This three could get transported here, which is four or five. It can't get transported six or seven because it's once it comes out, it's going to touch this. So that is two, four or five, definitely. And it's not four. C 
can't be four because that it would touch a four. So it's two or five now. If it's two, this is three. If it's five, that is three. So that seven will get pushed through there. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, I mean, where, where am I meant to look now? I two six regions here this three region does have to grow so one of these is a three that's definitely true i definitely used all these clues that's that's probably what i've not done but i have circled them all oh no i've not circled these two but i've thought well i haven't thought about that one is this that can't be a one could be a two but it could be, a th it could be, no, it can't be a three because we've already completed this. If it's a four, it goes there. So let's say that might be possible. Five, six isn't possible. That would be there. Seven isn't possible. Eight, I mean, eight might be possible. I don't know. So if, are these different then? So if this is 5, which is plonking a 3 here, then this can't also be 5. So this would be a different number, and the 5 region here would have to get out. Which means that would have to get out. Mm, I have a feeling that's penning in that 7. But that was very complicated when I just ran through that in my brain. So I'm not going to do that yet. <laughs> I think there might be something easier. Um, but what is the next question? Oh, sorry, I, I knocked the microphone then. Um, what's this? Oh, that could be a one, couldn't it? Providing there's a one somewhere in that column. I don't think that has to be. I was wondering whether I could force this four upwards somehow. So if this wasn't a one, if this wasn't a one, these two digits are the same, which means they can't be two. We've learned <laughs> we've learned that sort of. Uh, could they be three? Probably. Could they be? They couldn't be four because they'd be transporting here. So that would push the... Ah, that's interesting. So if I could get rid of one from this square. Ah, it doesn't matter what this is. Oh, that's it. That's beautiful. What beautiful setting. Right. It doesn't matter what this is. The point is that this digit can't be, can never be a four, can it? I think that's 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 it because if this is four it's saying that transport this digit to that position which makes this a six which it cannot be and if that is not a four I can pencil this in like that it's got to go up there so that's got to be a four that makes that green and that has done something with my seven so my seven now has to go up here and that, I think, is going to resolve this. This is beautiful. Good grief. Now the three has to go there. So that becomes three. That's finished. The seven, actually, the seven is finished, isn't it? I think that's going to finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seven gets finished. So that's, that earns its moniker of yellowness. Um, and this now 
can't be 5 anymore because it would get transported onto a 7. So that's 2, which means that's 3, which means that's 3, which means that's 2. This is a 2, which we said was grey because of the weather, although not my spirits. So this is 3, which means these are blue. This 6 has to get out, so that becomes a 6, that becomes a 3 now. That's blue. And let's fill that in, make sure we understand it. This 6... We don't understand quite how anything's working on the right hand side, but that's a huge step forward. Um, and we can we can tick things off. So that three's been done, that three's been done. That six has been we've already we've already done that. Okay, so we get to here. Now, what do we do next? Is it that clue? Let's have a think about that. So this digit can't be a four. Yeah, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to use that because that, that would be transporting this four to that position if this is four. So what we're actually being told here, I think, is that that is, is, a, is a valid pencil mark. So that becomes green. Um, the same is true again, look, this, this is still has to keep going because that can't be a 4, it would transport onto a 3. Um, now that one, if that's a 4, would get transported onto a 6. Oh, so we just get, I uh, see, we get a line of 4s here. All of these have to be transported. These two could be transported the same because there, there is a these are, what are they, one, two, three, four. If there were sixes, both in those positions, that would work. Otherwise, these have to have different numbers in them, and therefore this would be penned in a little bit, so it would have to go to there. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. that digit if that's a one this would have to be a two or a three I think it could be do I know which of these is the final four from this set Golly, I don't know. This is suddenly getting more difficult, isn't it? What about that digit then? Okay, that's not a 2 or a 3 or a 1. So that is a big digit. Can it really be 4? Uh, no, it probably could be 4. Probably could be. I'm not sure. But I, so I'm going to just fill that in with loads of big digits. That's a really big digit. Oh, it could be... No, because it's not transporting a 6. It, it's, it's, tran it's, it's giving us the index of how many we have to move. So... I'm wondering if we know these are the same or not. But we know this is big. In fact, that's an interesting one. Let's give that red for a moment. It's at least 4, so it must, have the, it must get to that square, mustn't it? Because I can't hide it all in that little bushel. So it's got it's got to go to here. So this square is also a big digit. And well then it depends what it is. But it's transporting these two digits to the same vertical vertical or sort of horizontal domino. So it's probably could be six, couldn't it? Actually, it could be six. No, no, and it's transporting at least four. So one, two, th three, four. So this is the earliest it transports down to. But, hmm, not really sure. Okay, so do we then know what this digit is? We know that this is at least We know this is not a 4. We know it's not a 1. If it's 2, it's saying this is 4 then. And that would be a 2. 
So that would be a four. I don't know if that works or not, but it might do. If it's three, then we know that this is three. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, these... Maybe I can prove these are the same. This can't be one, because it would transport to itself. It can't, you know, it could be two, and if that's two as well. And then these two are the same. And they're four. So that seems to be option one, is that these are twos, and that puts a four here, and a four here. And there'd either be a two left behind. These would be four, so transporting to here. So they probably have to be twos then. Isn't that trapping it in? Gosh, that's very complicated, but I think that might be trapping things in. I'm going to try that again. There might be a way of doing it without trapping things in. Actually, I've just thought of, so let's just try it. So I think if these are both twos, the point is now, that's making both, it's making both of these fours. So everything here becomes a four. These fours are transporting to these two squares. So whatever's up here now has to fit in with that. So if this is double two, that doesn't work because now my four region can't complete. So this has to be a one and a four, doesn't it? Now, how does that work? The four up here will undeniably complete the four region. So the four can't be here. Uh, hang on, no, I was counting. I've miscounted it. Uh, it's the four is the four is this. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All of that's nonsense. The four is to here. That's where it's being transported. And that doesn't pen it in if this is twos. So if this is twos, you get twos here and that four can still escape wow okay okay so this is much, this is even more complicated than i first realized so let's go back so two i think is possible three no that's transporting to here this is not a four four is impossible five oh, it's going to have to be there it's because it's got to it's got to cause a horizontal um or a sort of a vertical domino of forage. So, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So six is the next, only other possibility. So this is either a two, a two domino or a six domino. Oh, that's very annoying because that actually means that this this could all be one region. If these were sixes. Oh, good grief. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, look, this could be, this could all be sixes. And that would just result in some sixes down here by transportation. That feels almost too serendipitous not to be true. Hmm, okay. These were sixes. I mean, the fours here also have to find. Oh, yeah, the fours here. Have to, where's this? What's this digit? Because this digit has to transport a four to its row somewhere. And there's only two places that could be fours. So that digit is two or three. And if it's two, that would cause this to buckle, wouldn't it? And if it's three, that would be a four. Oh, that seems interesting. Let's have a look at that. What's wrong with that? <laughs> that six would then come down here. Couldn't touch that. So that six would do all of those things. That would be an incredibly difficult digit to fill because that would have to be indexing that cell. That's the only four it could get. One, two, three. Is that nine? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, it'd be a nine. There'd be a nine here. That would be enormous. Um, so this three would have to go there. 
this uh, oh hang on that four's got trapped in that can't work okay this is complicated but i don't think it works i don't think it works and this is going to do an awful lot of damage so what i'm claiming is if this is three that plonks a four here this six then has to somehow complete which is going to force it to do all of these things this four now needs to go there there and where's its next digit from because we know these are the same so they can't both be fours because then the fours will have five five in them and that's great because that means this is not a three and if this is a two transporting a four to here this cannot be a two because we know these are the same so these are now sixes and that six is i oh know that six isn't penned in okay but the only way of getting this to six is is if these are both six because if those weren't six there isn't six there aren't six there isn't enough space for the six to exist so this is purple up here um this is two so that's two which means this is four so these are green this is gray we can ring some things like this i don't know about this four quite yet and we can do some circling uh that's okay that's okay that's okay and that's okay so that's all good these sixes are, that's how far things are getting transported one two three four five six so that must be a six getting transported six now i'm almost sure this is going to be a six but it could be a one so that square is one or six depending on what this is oh okay and then, well actually this six is still got trapped in yes yeah look it's even worse <laughs> this six has to take that square because there's no space for it not to and now it can't come down here because it's going to join up a region that's not going to be much bigger than size six so those two both have to be sixes this is brilliant isn't it it's a brilliant puzzle it's got a bit stickier now i'm getting i'm getting stuck more often now that's a four to the four has to achieve a count of four um okay that six we know can't go up so this is either this square is a one or a four this digit if that oh that could be a one if this is a three so that could be one otherwise it's at least a three itself but it would have to be transported the right number of cells wouldn't it so it couldn't be three because that would be making this a three if it's come it before because it can't touch another four if it's it would then have to be six one two three four that's not the right count and anything bigger doesn't work so this has to be one this has to be three that has to be three these two are therefore blue this is orange this one is getting transported to there so that's actually not what i thought was going to happen but presumably that might be helpful that three can only complete by continuing its merry way down the grid and therefore this clue is done so we can we can give it a circle i'm sure i know what this six is doing now it's got to i think that's going to be a six isn't it if that's a one that's a one that's going to move the six down there the six is then going to have to wander there because the four needs to get out that three is plonking a digit here oh bother i don't know depends what this is <laughs> uh wow okay so i don't know these two digits are the same but if the oh the four can't go onto that square so the four does go up right now the six hasn't got enough space so that that, that just all resolves itself just with sense okay oh hang on i want that to be a black line so now now with that being a six at the top that has become a six which is probably not what we wanted actually because that feels like it's introduced flexibility for the fours that I was sort of hoping wouldn't exist. One of these, yeah, this six has to go to there because one of these is a four 
If this is a four, the six goes that way. If this is a four, the six still has to go that way. So that's definitely a six. It's not possible for both of these to be six. So this is always a six as well by that logic. So we've now done five of the six, six pieces. But this digit <laughs> is synonymous. These two digits here are the same because of the three. Now this could be a four. That's certainly true. And then this would be a four and that would have to transport to a four. One, two, three, four, five, which would mean it could be a six. I don't believe it. Um, otherwise, this could be something else. Now oh, my tummy's rumbling. Um, that's what you've done, micro study. You've reduced me to, to hunger in solving your puzzle. Um, hmm. Or maybe I have to think about this digit somehow. They see that could be a one now, couldn't it? One, two, three, four. If that's a five, that would force a five to go along there. Although that, that doesn't work. Ah, is that the point? Okay, let's get rid of those reds for a moment. What I'm noticing is if this is a very big number, it, it has it's forced to go that way. And then these two cell, well, this cell here. Well, it depends how big a number it is, actually. It does depend how big a number it is. Um, I fear we might have to just pencil mark these digits to see what sort of things they can be. I mean, this digit here. It can't be two, can it? Because that, if it's anything, uh, this has to be A one, a four, or a six. It has to be. Because this four needs to get out. So in the event this isn't a four, the four will go here. And then this could only be one or six. So this is what, which, and that is this digit being transported. So this is one, four, or six. Now if this, ah, if this is six, it's going to touch this six in the course of trying to escape. So it's not six. And if that's not six, right, what does that mean? Oh, I don't believe it. I don't know what it means. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Bother. I mean, if this is four, maybe we can disprove that because then that's going to be four. And that means, can that be four as well? Two, oh, it can. So all of those could be four. But then one of these would be four, which would be locking onto this four. But wouldn't, if one of these is four, aren't both of them four? No, that no, because those could be four, and then that could be a bigger number transporting it up somewhere up here. But that's there's not really space for that to work. Hmm. Okay. Or maybe it's this cell I meant to think about. There's there's not an absolute plethora of numbers. I mean, because this can't be a six. The possibilities for this number, and this can't be a one. So it could be whatever's put into this cell could go into here. If this is a two. Oh, but can we, can we, did we work out you can't put two here? Or maybe, maybe you can if there's two escapes horizontally. What would that be then? That would have to be one. That would be one. That would be four. This would be double two. That would be six. And then some some combination of this would have to resolve. Okay. Don't know. 
struggling a bit to see the, the clean way to finish this. Um, I can do that, can't I? Maybe I can deduce which way this six goes. Maybe it can't go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it does go there, that's a four, definitely. So that would be a four. And that would be a four. We get two fours here. And that would that would make sense because there is a four in the fourth position. So the six, I think it's probably going to go here. I don't want to just sort of merrily bifurcate it. I'm sure that there is everything so far has been so unutterably clever, but it shouldn't be necessary to do that. So let's fill those two are definitely done. Maybe there's a reason that this. I mean, the most forcing thing is is that these are fours, isn't it? Because then this is forced to be four. This digit here could be six. One of these is going to be a four. So we could do something like that. And then this could not be a four. But it would have to be, if it's not four, can't put four here. It's going to have to be a big number that would have to be at least equal to seven. And there is not space for seven. And if on the other hand, you make that a four, then this is a four because it's indexing to a four. So I think I'm proving there that this is not four. Let's do that again. If this is four, this is four. Now for this to be four now, This has to be a digit that is, is, is indexing into a four. So it would have to be a big number or four itself. Ah, but then if this is an L tetromino, that can be six now, can't it? Yeah. And then I'm just left with the task of filling these four digits in probably with, I don't know, oh, ones and twos. I bet this is the solution. Ha ha ha. So that probably is the solution. So we found the solution. But there must be a way, therefore, of me deducing that double one is not a possibility here. Now, why is that? that that's then forced to be four. That's certainly true. This six is going here or here. Now, if the six goes here. Well, then the question is, surely, what's this digit? That can't ever be a one. Yeah, what is this digit? This has to be three, doesn't it? So if this is two, this has to be a four and it can't get out. It can't be, it could be three if this is one. And there would be threes over here. And that would be a six, which makes that a four and there's not enough space for it. So that doesn't work. So this can't be three. And anything bigger is surely too big. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Could we have five here with a one here? And then one, two, three, four, five, but then that five would get transported by a six into the wrong place. It's very complicated. I suspect there's a much easier way of figuring this out. But I, I think that proves that this can't be one. Because this becomes four. And I don't think that there is a valid fill for this cell. So that would suggest we have to do double four here. We can greenify both. That becomes four by dint of logic, therefore. We can't make this four. I think we decided that, but let's let's just fill in these. Because and the reason that I didn't think this could be four is that forces me to put a four in one of these squares, which either means there's not enough space for the six and whatever this region is. Or if this is a four, that becomes a four as well. So that I don't think can be a four. If that's not a four, these two have to be four. 
So we have to do that. This now can't be a one, it never could be. So it must be the six. That finishes the six off. And we're left with this little conundrum, this little tetromino here, where we've got to find some valid fill for it without making the regions too big. And I think we found it before when we made this a two, didn't we? This can't be a one, so it's at least, well, it's either two or it's three. Now, if it's three, this has to be four, so it's not three. So it must therefore be two, and there must be some way of making two work. And two is transporting this digit to here, so this can't be two. So that must be one, that must be one, that just leaves space for the two. And that is, I think, the final answer to the puzzle. It's a brilliant puzzle. I, f I feel a bit like I've let the puzzle down by being a bit slow at the end there, because I, th I think there was probably a, a more elegant way to showcase the finish. I'm just going to check these all work. Uh, four, four, three. That is six away, is it? Yeah, that seems right. Four and four is that one. So everything has a circle. I mean, I think it's logical. Yes. Wow. So how many people have solved it? Not that many. 60 people in 22 days, about two people a day. Um, fabulous. That is a fantastic puzzle. Really interesting from start to finish. And in fact, we didn't end up with a massive region. The biggest region was seven at the end of the day. Loads of six regions, loads of fours and three regions, very few two regions and very few one regions. Micro study, take a bow. That was a, that was a proper exercise in pencil puzzling. And um, yes, and I enjoyed it particularly much. Won't go for too much more alliteration. Um, now I'm going to have a, a stiff gin and tonic. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.